Hi everybody, it's James from Copters here, commercial drone experts. Talking today, we're going to be talking about LiDAR. With our partners in uh, the States, LiDAR USA, we can offer a whole range of LiDAR packages to suit all budgets and specification. But today, sitting next to me, I have the Revolution 120 series of LiDAR, which is a Quanogy M8 laser integrated with a Sony A6000 camera. So what does this actually give you? Well, mounted onto the M600, you'll get about 23 minutes flying time of an accuracy of around 40 mil, flying at around 50 meters. Now with the LiDAR USA system, they're very simple and easy to use. The IMU and the GPS data is geo-referenced into the camera itself. So if in terms of post-processing that data, even say PIX4D, it's very straightforward. And also processing the LiDAR our data as well is, is, is simple and straightforward and we can certainly help with that with our tech support team. The Quanogy M8 laser is an 8-channel laser and does about 440,000 points a second. Now this really um, uh, allows you at flying at around 5 metres a second to be able to get points of around 200 plus per square metre. So in terms of an average flight, when you're looking at conservatively, let's say we're flying the M600 at 20 minutes, flying at around 5 metres a second, you're looking at being able to collect data for about 50 acres, somewhere around about that. The great thing about LiDAR is that it's processing speed. You'll probably know from photogrammetric data sets it takes a lot of processing time and a lot of computing power. The joy of LiDAR is less data intensive and you can actually uh, reduce your overlap really just to make sure that you don't miss any data. So you're looking around probably the 30% as opposed to sort of 60 to 80% like you would do photogrammetry. So the workflow with these LiDAR USA A systems are as followed. Initialize the IMU and the LiDAR via a smart app on your phone. There's no need for initialization with these systems. You must maintain forward momentum and curves in the waypoints. So you then use your standard flight planning software. So you'd initialize it, set the flight going, collect the data, bring the drone down, de-initialize it with the app on your phone again, and take the SD card out. Once it, whilst this flight's running, you will need a base station running at one second intervals and to be able to exp export Rhinex data out of it. Once all this data is collected and you have the Rhinex data in, um, in your possession, you can run it firstly for Inertia Explorer to map the trajectory and the geo-reference and the returns. Once that's completed, you can then put it into LIDO USA's own software called Scanlook PC. Now this is the real great jewel in the crown. This is where it makes point cloud generation very simply. So within that software, you can start doing the filtering, removing things like the, the undercarriage of the, uh, the, the platform out of it. You can start reducing the, uh, the range of returns. All them spatial filtering is included uh, within the Scanlook PC. Once that's been done, you're free to export in a whole range of universal formats for point clouds. And then following the workflow, you can export that data and include it in any of the standard survey software you guys are used to using along the way. The great thing about the systems from LiDAR USA is the capability to turn your LiDAR investment into a mobile mapping system as well. So for essentially the cost and the investment of an airborne LiDAR system, you can, within minutes, take off the LiDAR unit from underneath the drone on some quick release pins and mount them to the back of your vehicle. So for a one standard investment, you've got airborne capabilities as well as mobile mapping capabilities as well. So as you can see from these systems, they're very easy to use. You have the backing of LiDAR USA with 20 years experience in the LiDAR industry. You have the backing of ourselves at Copters who are invested in this technology and know there's a, a real appetite for LiDAR within the survey community as well. And being a surveyor myself and knowing the industry as well, I can help you get the most out of your LiDAR, um, your LiDAR uh, systems as well. And we offer full technical support as well. So if LiDAR is something you're really interested in, then why not get in contact with myself on the details below or drop me an email.